Howdy ho guys and gals, Jeff King here in the Den and Tools. Today we'll be doing a crankcase filter replacement on the old Cummins there, so let's jump into it. Okay, tools you'll need for this. You're going to need an 8 millimeter socket or wrench or both actually. Uh, you Probably a long screwdriver or something like that would be fine, but I used the trim removal tools there from, uh, from Harbor Freight. And you could use, you know, if you want overkill, you could go with a drill or impact wrench to run these things off faster. Of course, you know, as we say around here, Overkill is underrated, so of course that's exactly the way we went with it. Okay, and then we just need to remove the four bolts that are holding down this front cosmetic cover part. All right, now lift that panel off. This? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now lift that panel off. That's cool. Good job. Put your hand in there. Now on some models I've seen on here, the third stud on the left has a wire holder on it. Ours did not have that for some reason. The fourth stud on the left does, and ours did have that as well. It's also a tighter spot there, harder to get into. There's a wire holder on this stud. You want to get in here? So we got the part removal tube. Then lift that off. We have to take this bolt right there off. Also, you're going to want to remove the sensor. Just pop this red tab over to the left and then pull the sensor straight off. See if you lift off that case. We're not taking it all the way off. You're just pushing it up and to the left. You need two hands. And then to this way. And to the left. So this is where we're taking out fleet guard. See there, it's all nasty and whatnot. Here's what we're replacing with another fleet guard. Nice, clean, everything. See these, these seals right here, you're gonna wanna lube those up. Make sure they're good also. Back in here, back in here. There's a gasket around there. You see that gasket, Griff? This thing? Nope, it's that little thin piece like of rubber lip? goes all the way around. That thing, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. See where the ridge is, bud? Where the ridge is? Where yes, the thing, right, right here. Down. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Feel that. See how that's rubber? Yeah. Okay, we need to check the whole thing all the way around. Now it's just a simple case of putting the filter in, pressing it down, making sure it's nice and snug down in there, and then just uh, doing the reverse of all these steps to put it back together. Okay. Now to reset this message, turn off, turn on. Let everything figure itself out. Press the brake pedal twice and slowly press the accelerator all the way down twice within 10 seconds. Turn off. Then turn on. should reset our message. There we go, all good. There, as you saw, we did this, what, in the middle of an RV park here, as you know, middle of the day. It's the kind of thing you can do in your driveway. It's stupid, simple, just don't drop anything down in the engine bay and you'll be fine. Anyway, you got any questions or comment, put it down below, don't forget to, uh, Hit the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.